Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. I am the power of the Lord, Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit, and that we are not to be Amen. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance, granting to thy people victory over all adversaries, and by thy cross preserving thine estate. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Do thou who of thine own good will was lifted up upon the cross, O Christ our God. Bestow thy bounties upon the new nation, which is called by thy name. Make glad in thy might those who lawfully govern that with them we may be led to victory over our adversaries, having in thy aid a weapon of peace and a trophy invincible. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O champion dread who canst not be put to confusion, despise not our petitions. O good and all praise they O Tokos, establish the way of the Orthodox, save those who have been called upon to govern us, and lead us all to that victory which is from heaven. For thou art she who gave us birth to God and alone. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. on earth, peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill among men. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips and my mouth shall declare thy praise. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of mine head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. I laid me down and slept. I awake, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept. I awake, for the Lord sustained me. 
O Lord, rebuke me not in thy wrath, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure, for thine arrow stick fast to me, and thy hand presseth me sore. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger, neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. For mine iniquities are gone over mine head as a heavy burden, they are too heavy for me. My wounds stink and are corrupt because of my foolishness. I am troubled, I have bowed down greatly, I go mourning all the day long. For my loins are filled with a loathsome disease, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and sore broken, I have roared by reason of the disquietness of my heart. Lord, all my desires before thee, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart panteth, my strength faileth me. As for the light of mine eyes, it is also gone from me. My lovers and my friends stand aloof from my sore, my kinsmen stand afar off. They also that seek after my life lay snares for me. And they that seek my hurt speak mischievous things and imagine deceits all the day long. But I as a deaf man heard not, and I was as a dumb man and openeth not his mouth. Thus I was as a man that heareth not, and in whose mouth are no reproofs. For in thee, O Lord, do I hope that thou wilt hear, O Lord my God. For I said, Hear me, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me. When my foot slippeth, they magnify themselves against me, for I am ready to halt, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, I will be sorry for my sin, but mine enemies are lively, and they are strong, and they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied. They also that render evil for good are mine adversaries, because I follow the thing that good is. Forsake me not, O Lord of my God, be not far from me, make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord of my God, be not far from me, make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee, my soul thirsteth for thee, my flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee, thus will I bless thee while I live, I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips when I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches. Because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me, but those that seek after my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword, they shall be apportioned for foxes, but the king shall rejoice in God. Every one that sweareth by him shall glory, but the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. I meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help. Therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now endeavored unto ages of ages, amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline thine ear unto my cry, for my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh into the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am as a man that hath no strength, free among the dead. Like the slain that lie in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit in darkness, and the deeps thy wrath lieth hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves. Thou hast put away mine acquaintance far from me, thou hast made me an abomination unto them. I am shut up, and I cannot come forth, mine eye mourneth by reason of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon thee, I have stretched out my hands unto thee, wilt thou shoot wonders to the dead. Shall the dead arise and praise thee? Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave of thy faithfulness and destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in the dark and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why castest thou off my soul? Why hidest thou thy face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up. While I suffer thy terrors, I am distracted. Thy fierce breath goeth over me. Thy tears have cut me off. They came round about me daily like water. They compass me about to gather. Lover and friend have suffered far from me, and mine acquaintance in the darkness. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, incline thine ear unto my cry. Bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender, tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. 
The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust, as for man his days are as grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourisheth, for the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting. Upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works and all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and thy faithfulness answer me, and thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath spent my life down to the ground. He hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all thy works. I muse on the work of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of a brightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake, for thy righteousness' sake. Bring my soul out of trouble. And of thy mercy cut off mine enemies and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of a brightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. O Lord, our hope, glory to thee. God. 
God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. All nations compass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. This is the Lord's doing is marvelous in our eyes. God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Let us believe her praise and worship the word. Go eternal with the Father and the Spirit, born of the Virgin for our salvation. For he took pleasure in ascending the cross in the flesh to suffer death and to raise the dead by his glorious resurrection. The barren wilderness thou didst make fertile with the streams of thy tears. And by thy deep sighing thou hast given fruit through thy struggles a hundredfold. Accordingly thou hast become a star for the universe, sparkling with miracles. Therefore, O righteous Father Paul, intercede with Christ God to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Since thou hast with fervor longed after the Lord from thy youth, thou leftest the world with its delights and nobly didst strive in valiant ascetic deeds. Thou didst pitch thy hut before the gates of thy parents. Thou didst break the demon snares, O oh, oh, blessed Father. And therefore, as is meet, hath Christ God glorified thee, O oh, John. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The mystery which was hidden from everlasting and was unknown of the angels, O Theotokos, was revealed through thee to those who dwell upon earth, in that God, having become incarnate in unconfusion, of his own good will accepted the cross for our sake, whereby he raised again the first created and has saved our souls from death. Let us laud the honored cross of the Lord. Let us honor with song his holy burial. Let us glorify his divine resurrection, for he hath raised the dead from the grave, since he is God, and hath led captive the might of death and the power of Diabolos, and hath shed light on those who are in Hades. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast been called dead, O Lord, who hast caused death to die, and thou hast placed in a grave, O thou who emptied the grave. Above the, so above the soldiers guarded the tomb, but below thou didst raise the dead who were for from eternity. 
Wherefore, O Lord Almighty, the incomprehensible glory to thee, now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Rejoice, O uncrossed gate, rejoice, O wall, in protection of those who hasten to thee. Rejoice, O quiet haven, who was not known wedlock. O thou who hast given birth in the flesh to thy creator and God, thou shalt continue to intercede for the sake of those who <coughs> praise and worship thy birth giving. After the third day resurrection and worship of the disciples, O Lord Peter cried to thee, The woman made bold to thee, but I cowered fearing. The thief did speak of thy divinity, and I denied thee ungratefully. Wouldest thou still, I wonder, call me disciple, or make me a fisher of the deep? Nevertheless, O God, receive me, repentant, and save me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The transgressors of the law, O merciful Lord, nailed thee between two thieves, and stabbed thy side with a spear. And thou didst submit to burial, O thou who didst invade the gates of Hades, and didst rise in three days. Wherefore the woman has hastened to behold thee, and told the good tidings of thy resurrection to the apostles. O Savior, transcendent in height, and praised of angels, wherefore, O blessed Lord, glory to thee, now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O Theotokos, transcendent in praise, O bride who hast not tried marriage, O thou who hast changed Eve's sorrow to joy, and we worshiping believers give praise, for that thou didst lift, lift us up from the first curse, and now intercede ceaselessly, O all holy one, for our salvation. <coughs> Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. The company of the angels was amazed when they beheld thee numbered among the dead. Yet thyself, O Savior, destroyed the power of death, and with thee raising up Adam and releasing all men from hell. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Wherefore, O women, disciples, do ye mingle sweet-smelling spices with your tears of pity? The radiant angel within the sepulchre cry unto the myrrh-bearing women. Behold the grave and understand, for the Savior is risen from the tomb. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Very early in the morning did the myrrh-bearing women run lamenting unto thy tomb. But an angel came toward them, saying, The time for lamentation is past. Weep not, but announce unto the apostles the resurrection. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. The murmuring women mourned as bearing spices. They drew near thy tomb, O Savior. But the angel spake unto them, saying, Why number ye the living among the dead? In that he is God, he is risen from the grave. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We adore the Father, as also the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Trinity in one essence, crying with the seraphim. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O Lord, both now and ever. To ages of ages, amen. And that thou didst bear the giver of life, O virgin, thou didst redeem Adam from sin, and didst give to Eve joy in place of sadness. And he who was incarnate of thee, both God and man, hath restored to life those who had fallen therefrom. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. O our God and our hope.
ointment-bearing women were dazzled by the angelic scene and their souls with the, with the divine resurrection. Wherefore they spake to the apostles, saying, Declare the nations the resurrection of the Lord, who worketh wonders with you, who bestowest on us the great mercy. O my Lord, I sing to thee like David in my sorrow. Save my soul from the deceitful tongues. Verily the life of the dwellers in the wilderness is a very happy one. For by divine passion are they ever carried up. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. By the Holy Spirit are all creation seen and unseen preserved, the control thereof being in himself, who is without doubt one of the Trinity. Come, my soul, let us ascend the mountain yonder, whence cometh thy help. O Christ, let thy raised right hand encompass me, preserving me from all evil deceits. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. By the Holy Spirit do we speak divinely, saying, Verily thou art God, life, love, light, and mind. Thou art goodness, thou dost reign for ages. I have been filled with great joy by those who say to me, Let us go into the courts of the Lord. Verily I have offered a constant prayer. In the house of David dread wonders take place, for there is a burning fire consuming every evil mind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily, the Holy Spirit is the element of life in its beginning. For through him doth every living thing breathe, as is the Father and the Word. Prokimenon, arise, O my Lord and my God, for thou dost reign to the end of time. Arise, O my Lord and my God, for Thou dost reign to the end of time. To Thee do I confess, O my Lord, from my whole heart. Arise, O my Lord and my God, for Thou dost reign to the end of time. Praise ye God and his saints, praise him in the firm foundation of his power. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Let us hear the 
Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy great mercy, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out mine iniquity, wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge mine iniquity, and my sin is ever before me, against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin, and my mother conceived me. For behold, thou hast loved truth. The unclear and hidden things of thy wisdom thou hast made clear to me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and glad as the bones which thou hast broken shall rejoice. Turn away thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and steady me with a guiding spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and the impious shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. And my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For hadst thou desired sacrifice, I would have given it thee. Thou delightest not in burnt offerings. Sacrifices to God are a contrite spirit, a contrite and humble heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good will undesigned, that the walls of Jerusalem may be built up. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Through the intercessions of the apostles, O Thou who art merciful, blot out all the multitude of our transgressions. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Thou who art merciful, blot out all the multitude of our transgressions. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to Thy great mercy. According to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out mine iniquity. Jesus, having risen from the grave as he foretold, hath given unto us life eternal and great mercy. Oh God, save us.
dost descend into Hades, my Savior, and shattered its <coughs> gates, for thou art almighty. As creator, thou dost raise the dead and destroy the sting of death. Thou dost deliver Adam from the curse, O loving one. Therefore all cry out to thee, O Lord, save us. Having heard the words of the angel, the women were overjoyed. They ceased their lamenting and trembling, and didst behold the resurrection. And behold, Christ approached them, saying, Rejoice, take courage, for I have conquered the world, and have saved the captives. Hasten and announce to the disciples that I go before them into Galilee to announce the news. Therefore we cry out unto thee, O Lord, save us. On January 15th, we commemorate our righteous father, Paul of Thebes. If Thebes sinketh the gates of Egypt such a marvel, how much greater Paul through the gates of life departing. Paul, Thebes' offshoot, died the 15th. He and a sister of his, inherit, of his inherited all their parents' wealth, but his brother-in-law, an idol worshiper, threatened Paul that he would betray him to the authorities as a Christian if he did not hand over his share of the property. Paul gave his half of the property to his sister and went into the desert, where he lived, lived in asceticism until his death. <clears throat> the spiritual heights attained by this giant of a monk are testified to, to by no less a person than Antony the Great, who once visited Paul and marveled how the wild animals and birds of the air ministered to him. Paul lived 113 years and entered peacefully into rest in the Lord in the year 342. On this day, we also commemorate our righteous father, John the Hut-Dweller, who became poor for Christ's sake. This world-denying child, his earthly hut leaving, hath pitched a new hut for himself in heaven. On the 15th, John moved his hut. He was born in Constantinople, an only child of rich and eminent parents. The young John fled to a monastery in Asia Minor where he spent six years in the greatest restraint, prayer, and obedience to the superior. Then the devil attacked him to return to his parents, which he did, but he dressed as a beggar and remained in their courtyard, living off the crumbs that the servants threw him and enduring much ridicule from all. He lived thus for three years, praying God that he would save the souls of his father and mother. They eventually recognized John by a precious gospel book which they had given him in childhood. He saved his soul and those of his parents, overcame the devil, and entered into rest in the Lord in about the year 450. On this day, we also commemorate the venerable martyr Pensophios of Alexandria and Gabriel of Lesnovo. By the intercessions of thy saints, O God, have mercy upon us. Amen. The sun of old passed over the depths of the tempest, begetting dry land, for the water dried up on both sides like a wall for the people to pass through its steps, singing songs well pleasing to God. And shouting, let us praise the Lord, for by glory hath he been glorified. O Lord, the confirmation of those who put their trust in thee, confirm thy church which thou hast bought with thy precious blood. Thy virtue, O Christ, hath covered the saying, O Christ, thou art my God, 
coming from the presence of God. The angel, we praise the word of God, who moistened in the fire the God speaking use, and dwelt in an incorruptible virgin, singing in true worship. Blessed art thou, God of our fathers. Let us praise, bless, and worship the Lord. The youth striving for true worship, standing in the midst of unbearable fire and on earth, at all by the flames, sing a song of divine praise, saying, Bless the Lord. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who with thou stain bearest God the word, and are truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden, for behold, from its fourth all generation shall call me blessed, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who with thou stain bearest God the word, and are truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. He that is mighty hath magnified thee, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who is our stain, bearest God the word, and our truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. For he showed strength in his arm, he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who with the stain bearest God the word, and are truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the empty with good things, and the rich hath he sent empty away. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who is our stain, bearest God the word, and are truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. He, remembering his mercy, hath opened his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham, and his seed forever. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who with the same bearest God the word, and are truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. O Virgin Theotokos, hope of all Christians, protect, preserve. Magnify, O oh believers, the firstborn Son, the eternal Word of the Father, firstborn of a mother who knew no man. For we have beheld in the shadow of the law and the scriptures a sign that every firstborn male that openeth the Called holy to God. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. Help us, save us. 
saints ran after him do thou with them brave form for us without ceasing O oh, ever blessed they o toko Oh, 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 oh. 
His glory shall be to all His saints. The grave, O Lord, having been sealed by the transgressors of the law, Thou didst emerge from within, like as Thou wast born of the Theotokos, for the incorporeal angels did not know how Thou wert incarnate, Likewise the guardian soldiers were not aware when thou didst rise, for these two matters were concealed from all seekers, but the wonder appeared to those who worship the mystery in faith. Therefore grant us who offer praise, joy, and great mercy. God in the sanctuary, praise him in the firm firmament of his power. O Lord, had thou had demolished the everlasting gates and broken asunder the chains, thou didst rise from the tomb, leaving behind thy wrappings and ointments in the grave. In testimony of thy three day burial. For his mighty acts, praise him according to the multitude of his greatness. The women did hasten to thy tomb to <laughs> behold thee, O Lord, who did suffer for us. And when they arrived, advancing, they saw an angel sitting on the stone rolled back from fear. And he shouted to them, saying, The Lord hath risen, go and tell the disciples that the Savior of our souls is risen from the dead. Praise him with the sound of trumpet, praise him with psaltery and harp. O Lord, Savior, thou didst enter unto thy disciples, the doors being closed, as thou didst come out of the sealed tomb, showing the sufferings of the flesh, which thou didst accept in long suffering. For thou didst submit to pains patiently, since thou art the seed of David. But since thou art the Son of God, thou didst liberate the world. Great therefore are thy mercies, O incomprehensible Savior. Have mercy upon us. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. O Lord, King of angels and great creator of all who did accept criticism and marry all in the body for our sakes. Deliver us from Hades, thou art God, and beside thee we know no other. Praise him upon the loud cymbals, praise him upon the highest sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Mm. O Lord God, who shall tell and who shall proclaim thy dazzling wonders? Or who shall declare thy dread mysteries? For thou wast incarnate for our sakes willingly, manifesting the might of thy power. And by thy cross thou didst open paradise to the thief, and by thy death thou hast crushed the bars of Hades, and by thy resurrection thou hast enriched all creation. Therefore, O compassionate one, glory to thee. Arise, O Lord God, let thy hand be exalted. Forget not the poor run to the end. Verily, the ointment bearing women reach thy two very early seeking to anoint thee, O deathless word. And when they were instructed by the words of the angel, they turned back with joy to tell the apostles plainly that thou hast risen, O life of all, and hast given the 
I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will relate all thy wonders. The gods keeping watch over the God-bearing tomb said to the Jews, Woe, your vain counsel, for ye sought to keep the boundless vainly have ye labored, for ye thought that ye could hide the resurrection of the crucified, but ye only showed it in clearer manifestation. Woe to your counsel of false opinion, why take ye counsel to hide what cannot be hidden. Better it were that ye hear of us and choose to believe in that which happened, which is that an angel resplendent like lightning descended from heaven and rolled away the stone. And from fear of him we were encompassed by death, and the ointment bearing steadfast women he shouted, saying, See not the dead of the gods, the unsealing of the tombs, and the emptiness of Hades. Why seek ye then as dead him who abolished the victory of Hades and crushed the thorn of death? Go ye in haste and tell the glad tidings of the resurrection to the apostles and shout ye fearlessly, saying in truth the Lord, possessor of great mercy, is risen. Glory to the Father and to the Son. Blessed art thou, O Virgin Theotokos, for 
are through him that was incarnate of thee. Is Hades despoiled, Adam is recalled from the dead. The curse is made void, Eve is set free. Death is slain, and we are endowed with life. Wherefore, in hymns we praise, we cry aloud, Blessed art thou, Christ our God, who art thus well pleased, glory to thee. We praise Thee, we bless Thee, we worship Thee, we glorify Thee, we give thanks unto Thee for Thy great glory. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Thou that takest away the sins of the world. For Thou only art holy, Thou the Lord, O oh Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Thou safe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we put our hope in Thee. Blessed art Thou, O Lord, teach me Thy statutes. Lord, Thou hast been our in all generations, I said, Be merciful unto me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. For with thee is the fountain of life, and the night light shall we see light.
having risen from the tomb, and having burst the bonds of Hades, thou didst loose the condemnation of death, O Lord, releasing all mankind from the snares of the enemy. Having manifested thyself to thine apostles, thou didst send them forth to proclaim thee, and through them thou hast granted thy peace unto the civilized world. O thou who alone art plenteous in mercy.
Since thou hast with fervor longed after the Lord from thy youth, thou leftest the world with his delights and nobly didst strive in valiant ascetic deeds. Thou didst pitch thy hut before the gates of thy parents. Thou didst break the demon snares, O all blessed Father. And therefore, as is meet, hath Christ God glorified thee, O John. Sanctify the virginal womb by thy nativity, and this bless the hands of Simeon, has come this day and saved us, O Christ God. Grant peace and strength to the faithful people whom thou hast loved. Oh. 